Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a build video of the Hobgrath Slittas from Age of Sigmar. I'm also going to be doing a slight review of the Bandai entry level snippers. Alright, so here are the Gundam snippers. And I bought these just because, you know, I don't have a local game store in the area and I bought them at Target, so it was just easy to get. They are a little on the pricey side, around, uh, I believe, $8, $8 American, but they ended up being worth it, so that's all that matters. All right, so here are the sprues. They're really nice models. Uh, the, the amount of detail you get is incredible. I particularly like the horn blower and the banner bearers as well. It's nice that even though there are snap together models, you get so many head and weapon options. Or excuse me, body options. So right here, I'm just snipping off all the body options. You get a lot of them, surprisingly. total lapse time for this was about 10 minutes. Not too long. Cutting out the other bits, the chest bits and all that didn't take nearly as long. This was about two and a half minutes. With this last part, I'm just cutting out all the head options. And again, you get a really cool amount of different expressions and posing, and I love both the unhelmeted and helmeted heads. I think they uh, both give a lot of character. This took about six minutes. So these ended up being some of the best snippers I've ever bought. I actually haven't bought a whole lot of snippers. I've usually relied on stuff that I can just find around the house for cutting out models, but these were really nice. So right here, I'm just going in with the sanding sticks, just getting all those mold lines off. And also, I'm trying to really get in with the X-Acto blade, trying to get all the excess sprue that was on the models off. It does take a bit, just because of how and where they, they're attached, especially at the heads and helmets. But uh, all of it's going to be worth it to have a nice clean model. The sanding is the, sta the sanding sticks are really nice. I really like them for the mold lines. I used to use the knife for most of the mold lines, but that's kind of inefficient. This part did take a while, quite a bit, but I'm happy with the end result. I actually find the removing of the mold lines pretty therapeutic. You know, it does take a bit, but you do have to be patient with it. And uh, I think that just helps with the enjoyment of building the model, taking your time, getting as much enjoyment out of it as possible, so that when we get to painting, it'll be really fun and you'll, it'll be much a much deserved paint job. And the final time elapsed for this was 19 minutes. So for this last part, I'm just going in with the tools again, just to try to get any parts that I may have missed. I found it a little funny that this was one of the first uh, Games Workshop kits in a while that had slotted bases. Just an odd little thing. I, it might be that they're coming, trying to incorporate them again. I don't know. I'm not sure. And right here, I'm just going through all the different head options, trying to pick which ones I like. I really like all of them. I don't have a, I'm not picky with this. I just think looking at each option individually, see which one you like the best. I also did a lot of test fitting to see which uh, heads could go in what, what slots. 
but overall yeah they're really cool figures uh definitely gonna try to get them painted up soon So here's the final product. I think they came out great with all the different poses and expressions. They are really, you know, obviously they're very mono, uh, mono pose in terms of you can't really do a lot of arm swaps and that sort of thing. But personally, I don't mind that. I, If you are someone that likes a lot more customization, it's gonna be a bit harder to play with that. But overall, I really like this kit. So if you like the video, you know, I really appreciate a subscribe and a like. And I'm going to be doing more of these and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks and have a great day.